Oh, fuck. These are level two soft plates. In fact, perform pretty well. We just shot at like 10 feet with a Browning high power. Look at that, dude. It like punched it in, but. The nine mil round didn't even make it halfway through one of these. It didn't go through. Is it in there? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. Look. Boom. Yeah, it stopped the shit out of that. Still, it only went through about half of it. Not even. What we're gonna start with, then, is the SS197SR sporting round. So that's kind of one of the pussier rounds for the 5.7. It's commercially available. It means anyone can get it. It uses a 40 grain VMAX, like the, uh, it's the Hornady hollow point that has the plastic tip on it. Let's start with that. Let's see how it does. We're starting with the SS197SR sporting round, commercially available. We're shooting it at level two armor. We're at five yards, which is actually about five feet further than where we shot the nine millimeter. Let's see if the FN57 pistol can penetrate level two, that is pistol rated body armor. Oh, fuck. Dude, I don't think it went through. I thought it went through because I saw that hole. But it, it just, just popped it yeah, so it just hard. Popped it so fucking hard. All right. A little pencil dick energy. I'm actually surprised. I thought it was going to go clean through it. I think it's time to up our game just a little bit. We're going to go to the next hotter commercial round through level two body armor. Now we're shooting SS-192. This is the fastest commercially available FN-57 AMO. It's got an aluminum core, so it's super lightweight. It's only 28 grains. So that is about as light as lighter 22 LR AMO, but it should come screaming out of this gun. Let's see how it does against level two body armor. Looks good. Maybe it didn't go through, but it definitely put a... Ooh, I think it did. Oh. It didn't, but look at look at that. Almost. I mean, it is... Holy crap. It's still hot right there. Hold on a sec. Let's grab a knife. It's really tangled in there. There we go. So there it is. Stayed together. You can see it expanded quite a bit. I mean, that'd be pretty nasty. It went all the way through and got stopped by the backer of this level two plate. Like that's how close that was. Almost, almost enough to punch through level two armor. This is the spiciest stuff that the commercial market will offer. We've got some stuff though that's a little bit zestier. We're gonna try that next. SS198LF, this is not commercially available. This is military law enforcement only. Green tip hollow points. Let's see how it fares against level two armor. Oh shit. Looks like we may have a winner. All right, so that SS198LF had what it took to get through this soft body armor all the way through, all the way through, and destroyed the water jug, the primary water jug. I thought it was going to get caught in the one that we have back here, but it escaped out the back. So it had enough power to go through this and all the way through another water jug. Pretty good out of a pistol. All right, now we're rolling with, this is uh, some stuff you guys remember. Somebody sent me from, uh, on TFB TV Mailroom, where I open fan mail from you guys, somebody who works with the company called Amulet, which makes like different types of 
hard armor. I think you can put it in like desks and walls and stuff like that. This is level 3A, NIJ rated. So officially level 3A rated. This is some tough stuff. We're gonna try that SS198LF green tip that just went through the level two and see if it has what it takes to get through the level tray A. SS198LF green tip, military commercial only. It just went through level two. We're shooting at level three A armor. Um, it's a hollow point. Hollow points usually don't have a good penetration power compared to FMJs or penetrators, but we're gonna see what this does against level three A. Are you ready, Ryan? Here we go. Looks like it got stopped. It didn't even look like it transmitted that much energy. I'm not even sure penetrated the bottle here oh no nope not at all look at that clean I mean it's got a little leak coming out of the bottom so there was enough force that it popped a seam in the bottom of the water jug but that said you can see here check that out I mean nice little ding wouldn't want to be on the other side of that right but uh, this stopped it cold that was not even really that bad of a knock against our water jug. Time to step it up to something a little bit more intense. Level 3A, amulet, ballistic barriers. This stuff looks pretty hard. Maybe even harder than the stuff we just tried. Um, but it's NIJ rated, level 3A. So it's rated the same as the stuff we just shot. We're going to step it up to the zestiest of FN57 rounds. That's the SS190. That is your... Full pen, triple X rated, not even on Skinamax. The hot stuff, the real deal, the genuine SS190, level 3A armor. Whew, here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Look at this. I mean, it's such a small round, right? Entrance. Can't even see it. Like the entrance hole right there. Exit. Uh, like a laser, right? And then it absolutely effed this up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that clean entrance hole. And then that gnarly, gnarly exit. Dude, that's bad. And then, I mean, what the F even happened here? Fortunately, it, I mean, it's not in here. I don't know where it went, but I mean, it split this son of a bitch in half. You can see like a little bit of a, kind of a slice right there. Maybe that's where it made its escape, but wow. Yeah! Amulet. Ballistic Barriers, level three. Um, this is rifle rated. Uh, this is a substantial piece of armor. I'm not really that optimistic about a pistol round being able to make it through level three armor, but there's no harm in trying. One chunky chunk of armor versus one zippy boy. Let's go. Here it is, level three armor. Ooh, looks like a loser. Yeah, look at this. So, this is weird. Look, there's a little hole right there. wonder what exactly happened. Look at that. I mean, that's a square hit. That's Maybe it did go through, actually. I don't know. So, look, there's the entrance hole. And I don't know. Like, that could that have been an exit hole? Yeah, it's split. It's split. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, F, look at that. You you had the round go in. Unfortunately, we didn't capture it with our, you know, little scientific water jugs back here, but that's your femoral artery gushing, or your pee-pee, <laughs> after you got blasted. So it actually did go through. Um, I didn't think so. 
didn't really impart a lot of energy, but not something, you know, I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that. Um, wow, and this is all from a handgun. Pretty impressive FN, pretty impressive SS-190. Wow, 